This is Asteroid Amber from High Touch High Tech. And today we're going to be making some really cool chromatography flowers. So what is chromatography? Well, we're going to be looking at how water is traveling up certain materials. And today we're going to use a coffee filter. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's take our coffee filter and a black watercolor marker. And I'm going to draw a circle in the middle of it and fill it in about the shape and size of a penny. The more color you put on there, the more color you will end up with on your beautiful flower. So now, I've got a lovely circle there, a lovely black circle. Is it really black? Or are there other colors in black? We're going to find out. Now we're going to use a pipe cleaner. And over here, our cup of water. So the water is almost full to the top, about an inch less. And we're going to take the pipe cleaner and stick it into the bottom of the coffee filter right through that circle we just made. And then we're going to place our coffee filter right on top of the cup and the pipe cleaner is going to act as a little wick, a stem, and it's going to suck up the water and allow the colors to separate. So here are some examples of ones we've done earlier. Look at how pretty that is. Do you notice that it's not black anymore? There's all kinds of gorgeous colors. I see orange and pink and blue and purple. Beautiful. And you could cut these down and make a beautiful flower arrangement on with them. You can even fold them in half and then fold them in half again to make kind of a triangular shape. And maybe even cut it down to size a little bit and open it up and have a beautiful flower. Here's some more examples. Look at this little flower. Isn't it pretty? Look at all those colors. Very good. And here's another example of how the water was able to spread out those colors. So you'll have to watch and wait and see how your chromatography flower turns out.